Hello, dear friends, I am Violetta from Crafting with View of You. This video tutorial is for one of these Christmas bubbles from my new collection, Christmas Jewels. Most of these bubbles are made in regular crochet technique. I use Twister Solid Yarn from Hobby.com for my bubbles and a 2mm hook. I don't know how much yarn goes for each bubble, I just know that I made more than 20 bubbles using only two skeins of yarn. You can use any other sport weight yarn or crochet thread number 3. I use plastic balls to fill my bubbles, they are 3 inches in diameter. You can also use styrofoam balls or you can use water balloons and stiffen your bubbles with starch or glue, but I don't have a tutorial for that. All the patterns are available in my Ravelry store, the link is below this video. The patterns come with written instructions, photo tutorials and video tutorials. And now, let's get started! First round. We are going to start with a magic ring, so put the yarn over the hook like this, like to make a slip knot. Make the slip knot, do not tighten this first loop, this will be your magic ring, make a chain stitch. Now please bring this yarn tail up and work 12 single crochets into this magic ring, which is also called, uh, called um, slip ring. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and the eleventh and the twelfth uh, single crochet. I'm going to work over this yarn tail. Oops, and twelve. And then join this uh, circle with a slip stitch. The first round is done. Second round. For the second round, we're going to start with chain four. One, two, three, four. The first three chains count as a double crochet, and the fourth chain is a chain stitch. Then we're going to work a double crochet, chain stitch, and then a chain stitch into each um, of the stitches below. So double crochet into the next stitch, chain one, double crochet into the next stitch, chain one, and like this 11 times. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 and 12, double crochets. Well, the first chain 3 count as a double crochet. And we're going to join this round with a slip stitch into the third chain stitch of the beginning, at the beginning of this round. So this is the second round. Round three, and we will start with four chain stitches. One, two, three, and four. And these four stitches will count as a treble crochet. So we're going to make one more treble crochet into the same stitch, which is this third chain stitch below. So yarn over twice and work a treble crochet into the same stitch with these um, chains. Okay, then chain three and two treble crochets into the next double crochet so two trebles into the next double crochet one treble then the second then chain three two treble crochets into the next double crochet chain three, two trebles, and like this all the way around this round, and we're going to, fin to, to finish this round with chain three and join into the fourth chain at the beginning of this round, right into this stitch. Round four. 
round four, we're going to start with a chain stitch. And in this round, we're going to work a little bit different way. We will need to create this kind of loops. So we're going to work down on the treble crochets and then up to create these kind of um, loops, okay? These kind of spirals. So we're going to start. So we will work like this, down the treble, then up the treble, then on the chain uh, space, and then down the treble, up the treble, and the chain space, okay? And this way, all the way like, like a coil stitch. <laughs> I don't know how to know <laughs> how to name it. Okay, so we will start with a single crochet into the space between these two trebles, like this, and then down the treble. So this will be the first treble, and this is the second, okay? So we will, uh, I'm naming it this way. So down the second treble, one, two, three, four, five, and six stitches. Then we're going to work a single crochet into the top of this double crochet. Well, this one is a chain three, but it counts as a double crochet. And we're going to work a single crochet into it. We're going to insert the hook from underneath like this, work a single crochet, and then six single crochets um, up along this first treble. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, and then we're going to slip stitch into the first single crochet of this loop. Right here, I'm gonna slip stitch into it like this. Okay, so now we closed this, this little circle that we created. Then we're going to work two single crochets, chain three and two single crochets into the next chain three space. So one and two single crochets, then chain three, and then two single crochets into the same space. Okay, so this will be the pattern for this round. Let's do it again. Single crochet into the space between, actually there is no space, we will just work between these two trebles. Then six single crochets down on the second treble. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Then single crochet into the top of the double crochet. Okay, so you see the double crochet on which these two trebles sit, and we're going to work right in between these two trebles into this double crochet, and then go up this um, treble. And while we're going to work um, these six single crochet, we're going to connect them with this side, you see, to create this kind of connection. So work three single crochets, one, two, and three. Sorry, my yarn split. Then I'm going to insert the hook. So the, take the hook out of the loop, insert the hook into the third single crochet on this side, and pull this loop through this single crochet, and continue working three more single crochets. It's a little bit tight here. One. I'm gonna pull these single crochets down. So one, two, and three single crochets, and close it with a slip stitch into the first single crochet. So now we have these two loops connected together here. And let's do it one more time. Two single crochets, chain three, two single crochets into the next chain space. So one, two single crochets, chain three, two single crochets. Then single crochets between two trebles. Then six single crochets down the Second treble, one, two, three, four, five, and six. 
Don't forget this single crochet right in between two trebles. Then work three single crochets. One, two, oops, and three. Take the hook out of the loop, insert the hook into the third single crochet on this previous circle. Pull this loop through the hook, uh, through, <laughs> pull this loop through that stitch and continue working three single crochets. One, two, and three. And finish it with a slip stitch into the first single crochet. Okay. Do you need me to show it to you one more time? Two single crochets, chain three, two single crochets into the same chain space, single crochet in between two trebles, six single crochets, then single crochet into the double crochet between two trebles, then three single crochets. It might feel a little tight and you might feel that there is not enough space to accommodate six single crochets on one treble, but you will see that in the end it will be very pretty, okay? We really need a lot of stitches on these, um, on these trebles. So connect it to the previous circle and work three more single crochets, one, two, and three, and slip stitch into the first single crochet. And continue like this until the last uh, pair of treble crochets. And I will show you how we're gonna finish this round. And we're almost done. And this is the last pair of trebles. And this time when we're going to work the six single crochets down and up, we will have to connect them to the circle to the left and to the circle to the right of these uh, trebles, okay? So single crochet between these two trebles, then work three single crochets along the second treble, one, two, and three, then uh, take the hook out of this loop, insert into the third single crochet on this side, pull this loop through that single crochet, continue working three single crochets on the treble stitch, one, two, and three, then the single crochet right in between into the double crochet, then three single crochets up along this, uh, the first treble, one, two, and three, and then connect to the circle to the right of it, and work three single crochet stitches up the treble, one, two, and three. Join this circle with a slip stitch into the first single crochet, and then continue working on the chain stitch, two single crochets, sorry, on, on the chain space, two single crochets, chain three, two single crochet, and join this round with a slip stitch into the very first single crochet stitch at the beginning of this round. Like this, make a chain stitch to secure it, and the round number four is finished. Round five, please join with a slip stitch into any of these chain three spaces. And work six chain stitches, one, two, three, four, five, and six. Then single crochet into the next chain three space. And like this, all the way around this round, cha uh, chain six, and then single crochet into the chain three. and join with a slip stitch into the first slip stitch at the beginning of this round. Round six, let's do two slip stitches 
along this chain space and then work two single crochets into this chain six space one and two then we're going to work nine double crochets into the next chain space one two three oops four five six seven eight and nine then two single crochets into the next chain space then nine double crochets into the next chain space and like this we're gonna alternate two single crochets into the next space nine double crochets into the next space like this all the way until we um, arrive to the first chain space at the beginning of this round so one two three four five six seven one two three four five six seven eight and nine two single crochets and please continue like this and we're going to close the previous round with a slip stitch into the first single crochet at the beginning of the round and then cut yarn Then you're going to weave the ends but let's do it later okay let's just continue uh, crocheting now for the seventh round we're going to join with a standing back pause double crochet into the second double crochet of this nine double crochet group so this is the second double crochet so st st standing double crochet we're going to do a slip knot then yarn over hook around the post of the double crochet from the back like this and work a double crochet stitch then chain one and continue working back post double crochet into the next double crochet then chain one and work uh, five more back post double crochet and chain one on this nine double crochets group like this chain one and so here we have seven back post double crochets and chain one then we continue working on the next group of nine double crochets so we're going to skip all these stitches and work into the second double crochet on this group of double uh, nine double crochets so double crochet chain one back post sorry back post double crochet chain one seven times oops I really like the uh, back post double crochets they're not easy to make but they give the texture to your uh, project and I really really love it okay so seven back post double crochets with chain one in between and like this please work on all these uh, groups of nine double crochets and we're going to close with a slip stitch into the first double crochet of this round eighth round we're going to chain two and then skip the first back post double crochet and work into the second one we're going to make a back post double crochet so back post double crochet then chain two and continue working back post double crochet chain two four more times so this is our second back post double crochet chain two back post double crochet chain two back post double crochet chain two back post double crochet 
chain two. And then a single crochet into the chain one space between these groups of backward double crochets. And then repeat this pattern, chain two, back, uh, skip the first back post double crochet, back post double crochet into the second back post double crochet, then chain two, BPDC, chain two, BPDC, chain two, back post double crochet, chain, chain two, and back post double crochet chain two single crochet into the next chain space and like this all the way around and we're going to finish this round with a slip stitch into this chain two space ninth round we're going to start with chain two then a single crochet into the first back post double crochet then chain two and then a puff stitch into the next back post double crochet so we're going to yarn over insert the hook into the um, back post double crochet below yarn over pull up a loop yarn over hook into the same stitch pull up a loop yarn over hook into the same stitch yarn over pull up a loop and yarn over and fourth time pulling the loop and now yarn over pull through all the loops just leave two loops on the hook yarn over and pull through these two loops okay then we're going to chain two and work a puff stitch into the next back post double crochet so make this puff stitch then chain two and work a puff stitch into the next back post double crochet one two then chain two single crochet into the next back post double crochet then chain two single crochet into the next single crochet okay so this is the pattern for this round let's do it one more time chain two single crochet into the next single crochet chain two puff stitch into the next back post double crochet or oh, did i say single crochet here it should be a double crochet back post double crochet then chain two puff stitch into the next stitch chain two puff stitch into the next puff stitch chain two single crochet into the next stitch chain two into the next stitch okay now please finish this round and i'll see you back in round number 10. round 10 we're going to start with chain one then single crochet into the next uh, sp uh, chain space then chain one single crochet into the next chain space then chain three puff stitch into the next chain space then chain two puff stitch into the next chain space then chain three single crochet into the next chain space chain one single crochet into the next chain space and we will continue this pattern all the way around so let's do it one more time chain one single crochet chain one single crochet chain three puff stitch so all the stitches are worked into chain spaces in this round then chain two puff stitch chain three single crochet chain one single crochet and we are ready to start the next repeat so please finish this round and i'll see you back in round number 11. round 11 we're going to start with a single crochet into the next chain space 
into this one okay so single crochet then single crochet into the next stitch which is a single crochet then three single crochets in this chain three space one two and three then single crochet into the puff stitch then chain three puff stitch into chain two space then chain 18 slip stitch into the top of the puff stitch into these two loops you see these are the two loops make a slip stitch make this slip stitch then chain three single crochet into the, the top of the next puff stitch then three single crochets in chain three space one, two and three then single crochet into the next single crochet single crochet into the next chain space then single crochet into the next chain space and this is the pattern for this around Let's do it again. Single crochet into the next chain space. Single crochet into the next single crochet. Three singles into the next chain three space. Single crochet into the puff stitch. Chain three. Puff stitch into chain two space. Chain 18. slip stitch into the top of the puff stitch chain three single crochet into the puff stitch the three single crochets single crochet into the next stitch single crochet into the next chain space single crochet into the next chain space now please finish this round and join with a slip stitch into the first single crochet of the round. So I finished this round and actually I'm going to join it with the invisible join. Cut the yarn, pull this yarn tail out of the loop, thread this yarn tail into a needle. Now insert the needle into the first single crochet stitch at the beginning of this round. And then back into the last single crochet and tighten now you see the this join is absolutely invisible very very pretty and i'm going to weave this uh, yarn tail into the back of the stitches then cut the yarn and weave in all the other ends that you have on your project and then we're going to put it around this bubble and now we are ready to finish our beautiful beautiful uh, Christmas bubble and for this one I'm going to use a transparent ball and we're going to see which variation will be prettier so please grab your yarn and join with a slip stitch into any of these chain spaces okay then make a single crochet into the same chain space chain one single crochet into the next chain space chain one single crochet into the next chain space chain one and like this now please insert the bubble inside and continue joining single crochet into the next chain space you will feel that it's tight but your uh, shell needs to be quite stretched on this bubble so it's fine single crochet chain stitch and the last single crochet 
the last chain stitch and you see this bubble is inside and now I'm going to cut the yarn pull this yarn out of this loop and finish joining this um, around this circle with the same stitch as we did right before so thread your yarn then insert the needle into this first single crochet stitch then back into the chain stitch and the single crochet oops a little tight here now pull it like this to tighten then i'll go back to this first single crochet so go back and forth a little bit to secure this uh, end from unraveling like this I'll go through these stitches now cut the yarn and with this end of this um, yarn also into the back of the stitches and now here are our pretty bubbles one is on red and one is on transparent please let me know which variation you prefer is it better with solid red or is it better with this uh, transparent light and airy i really hope that you like this video tutorial if you liked it please give it a like please subscribe to my channel please also join my facebook group and share your pictures on instagram and tag my name so i can see what you've created and now Happy crocheting!